Good day, all friends from across the world. Welcome to join Huston Talks 2020 webinar. I'm Anthony, sales manager from Huston Corporation. It is a big honor for me to present you today's topic, Helix and Aviation Technology in Perspective. Now, let's begin with our topic today. There are five parts altogether. The first part is the roadmap of Hudson Helix antennas. And the second part is the roadmap of Hudson aviation antennas. The next part is performance comparison. You can see some tests for Hudson antennas, which are the similar products on the market. And then, I will introduce some applications from our customers. And you will know better how to choose and sell our antennas. The final part is questions and answers. Our product manager, Mr. Dio Wang, will have to answer the questions raised by audience. Okay, so now, Let's go to the first part. Here, I will introduce our Helix antennas family. As we knew, Hudson has rich experience in the design of UAV antennas. At first, aviation antenna is used to UAV when high precision positioning technology has now been applied to UAV on a large scale. Then, we got some requirements from our customers. They need small and light antennas for UAV. Then, in 2014, we developed the first generation hex antennas, like this. The model is include CH3602A, CH4601A, and CH6601A. Their, their structure is the same, but with different frequency. Small size and good performance are their features. They are the most popular, they are the most popular products in the drones market. We have sold more than 100,000 pieces with excellent and stable performance and low repair rent. It has been well received by domestic and foreign customers. However, the frequency of our first generation helix antenna is narrow, which the development of drone technology. Customers require a wider frequency band. So on this basis, we develop second generation antennas. Here, here is our D helix antennas, CH7603A and CH600A. Comparing with the first generation antennas, D helix, gen helix antennas cover four frequency. The face center is more stable. The gain is higher, up to 4 dBi. The first generation helix antenna is only 2 dBi. And the, the per positioning accuracy is about 2 millimeters. So, the helix antenna is suitable for many applications of UAV, such as agriculture, serving and mapping, and so on. But when our customers use our D-Helix antennas, 
we got their feedback. The weight of our knee helix antennas is a little heavy. Actually, it's a question about the balance between performance and size. As usual, bigger size, better performance. So, in order to find the best balance from size and performance, this year we have the third generation helix antennas. Let me show you. CHCU76038A and CH7609A. CU76038A is customized for the F9P module of U-Box and the working blanks for meet its application. It is more suitable for UAV application with lower wind resistance. About CH7609A, we reduce, we reduce the height to 40.8 millimeters. But we didn't reduce its gain and the bandwidth too much. The gain can up to 2.8 dBi. Comparing with the first generation antennas, the performance is better. Comparing with the second generation antennas, the size is smaller. In a wall, the third generation hex antennas are balanced, are balanced in all aspects. The external helix antennas are designed according to different points, like CH600A has the best performance, CH6601A has the smallest diameter, and CH67603A is more balanced in all aspects, and CH 7609A has the lowest height. In addition to the external helix antennas, we also provide OEM helix antennas. Let's look at the roadmap. There are four OEM helix antennas to meet customers' requirements for small diameter or road profile. Let me introduce the details of, for you. CH6017 is the first generation OEM helix antennas. Let me show you. The body is made of FPC material. The parameters are the same with the first generation helix antenna, like this. Actually, many famous, many famous drone manufacturers are using these antennas. We have delivery more than 10,000 10, pieces. Comparing with the first generation of this antenna, CU7005A supports more frequency and airband, so it can wear a dead to the F9P module of u box and the size is smaller. The height is reduced from 47 millimeters to 34 millimeters, but the gain of the antenna is still 2 dBi. So, Compared with the first generation antennas, the size is smaller, but the performance is still good, which makes it easier to integrate the antenna into the UAV.
The third antenna is our CH7018A. The height of this antenna is only 28 millimeters, but its performance has been improved, like the gain can up to 2.8 dBi. So higher gain, wider bandwidth, and uh, lower height are the main features. The material of CH7018A is FPC, which is very light and soft. But when something like this, when something press it, it is easy to deform. So, so we also designed another vision of the antenna. This antenna made of hard material. The whole structure of the antenna is more stable, which is which is suitable for the application than the stone structure. However, the performance of the OEM antennas is easy to be affected by the body and the shell of the UAV. So if you need, we can make the customized the design for different UAV bodies. We can carry out modeling, simulation, debugging, and testing in the case so that the structure and performance of OEM helix antennas can be well matched with the body. Now, let's have a look at the roadmap of Hudson Aviation antennas. For most three applications, like some UAVs, had to work at high altitude. So, we design highly reliable external aviation antennas, which are waterproof renting of IP67, and they can well adapt to the hot environment, like high or low temperature work, vibration impact, waterproof and dustproof. Among of them, CAX601A supports full frequency operation and it passed the NGS certification. The fifth center division is within three millimeters, which can achieve high precision precision. Sometimes our customers need layer antenna. So we promote the Hudson CA76148 antenna. The weight of this the weight of this antenna is only 90 gram because of the holy design. The wind resistance can be reduced and the battery life can be improved. As same as our OEM helix antennas, we also provide the OEM aviation antennas. They have much lower profile. So, and the physical structure is more stable, which is suitable for the application that have three requirements on the height of antenna. Hudson CU, Hudson CU 3002A supports GNSS L1 band. The advantages are small size and light weight, which is suitable for consumer drums. The CH4013A supports dual frequency and can achieve centimeters positioning. It is suitable for using in drum that was under harsh conditions and are no three in wet, such as military drums. 
the frequency of Hudson CUX 003A covers the full frequency and supports L band which high precision board it can achieve centimeters or even millimeters accuracy is suitable for industry drums with high requirements for antennas wet and high. The next, the next part is performance, is performance comparison. You can see some tests for Hudson antennas which are similar products on the market. Firstly, let's compare the parameters of our antennas. It can be said each product has its own advantages from this table. The lightest, the lightest antenna is the OEM Helix antennas CH6017A, which weighs only 7 grams. The highest gain is the external helix antenna CH7603A. The gain is 4 dBi. The CAX601A can cover full frequency. And then let's compare other similar products on the market. As we knew, the gain and the bandwidth of the antenna determine whether the device can receive GNSS signal sampling. By comparing which product A and product B, we can, we can be found Hudson's antenna is the most stable one. Besides, we also carry out the comparison in UAVs. As shown show in this picture, product A, the blue line, it receives limited GNSS signal. Product B, product B, the red line is easy to lose GNSS signal when it flying. However, in the same conditions, Hudson antennas can still search for satellites normally and receive GNSS signal stably. Now, let's go to the first part, application and set installation. In this part, I will show you some application in helix and aviation antennas from our customers which maybe have you know better how to choose and sell our antennas. For first one is for light big screen drum because it's so light and it doesn't require much molting when it works. So we will recommend excellent performance, small size, and light antennas like Hudson OEM Helix Antenna CH6017A. The second application is multi rotor runs. It's simple to operate, very flexible, and it always works in complex environment. So I will recommend the external Helix antennas with excellent performance and strong anti-interference like external Helix antenna CH4601 a or CH6601 a Let's see the third application for large frequency ring drums and multi-road drums Large, large load and long endurance are their features, which can perform long distance 
or large area tags. They need antennas with high performance and high reliability in complex environment, like external aviation antennas, CHX CHX 600A and CAX 601A. In addition to UAVs, our helix antenna also can be used in surveying and mapping like PBK, like PBK systems. There is a simple and an effective solution to achieve better accuracy. The helix antenna also can be used in cable and pipe locators. Our antenna will help to improve the accuracy and stability of positioning. Finally, I will invite our senior product manager Leo Wang to help answer the questions from our audience. Welcome, Leo Wang. Finally, I will invite our senior product manager, Leo Wang, to help answer the questions from our audience. Welcome, Leo Wang. Hello. Hello, Leo. Here I have some questions from our audience. Could you help me to answer that? Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. Let's check the first question. The first question is, it is a good idea to offer both of black and white, but can you provide other colors? Uh, as the standard general product, we only offer black and white colors, but we can also carry out the customized design according to your requirements, such as military green, mm -hmm. uh, gray, and mm -hmm. so on, but the cost of these products will be higher. Okay, yes, as soon as you have enough orders and you are willing to pay some develop cost, it is easy for us to customize different colors for you. Okay, let's see the second question. What is your advantage of your new generation Helix antennas? Uh, our new, uh, new products have uh, three, uh, mm -hmm. three main features. Mm -hmm. uh, first is a new, uh, is that the new models realize the miniaturization and uh, low profile design mm -hmm. without reducing their performance. And the height of the new product is at least 30% mm -hmm. lower than that of the previous generation. Uh, and second, mm -hmm. uh, GPS alpha and L band mm -hmm. are added in the working frequency band, so it can support uh, the F9P model of U blocks. Yes. Uh, third, our new products increased the out of band signal suppression mm -hmm. of mobile communication frequency band, so uh, they can work in uh, in more complex environment. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Actually, each of Hassan antennas has its own advantages. So you can, according to your requirement, to choose the suitable antennas. On my opinion, I think the right is the best. Now, let's go to the next question. Do you make the NGS certificate for Helix antennas? Uh. Uh, usually, we only calibrate the uh, survey antenna uh -huh. and uh, the reference station antenna uh, in GPS uh, because mm -hmm. these two types of antennas require the highest uh, positioning accuracy. Uh, although we don't uh, calibrate these, the helical antennas in NGS, mm -hmm. we can test uh, its, free, uh, its phase center by other means. Uh, the commonly used method is uh, one is the short baseline method, mm -hmm. and the other one is a microwave chamber test. Our company mm -hmm. is building a new microwave chamber. Uh, after com uh, completion, we can test the phase center uh, characteristics mm -hmm. uh, in the microwave chamber, which is much more convenient. Thank you. Okay. 
So the next question is, our customers ask if, if they want to integrate our OEM antennas, what design should be paid attention to? Uh, in my opinion, uh, in the integrated design mm -hmm. uh, of the OEM antenna, yes. uh, we should pay attention to, uh, first, uh, is there should be no shelter mm -hmm. around the antenna's radiator. Mm -hmm. The obstacles will not only block the satellite signal, mm -hmm. but also change the working characteristics and the radiation pattern of the antenna. Uh, and it will make the receiving effect significantly worse. Okay. Uh, second, mm -hmm. uh, there should be no interference source uh, near the antenna. The interference source will produce multiple uh, harmonics. Mm -hmm. If the multiple uh, harmonics fall into the working frequency band of the helical antenna, the antenna will uh, lose lock and even cannot work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for your detailed answer. Let's go ahead. <coughs> How long is the warranty on our product? Uh, usually, the warranty period of our product is one year. Yes. Uh, we can repair the, uh, the failure caused by non-human factors and uh, within the warranty period free of charge. Mm -hmm. And the uh, antennas, antenna damage beyond the warranty period can be paid for maintenance. Yes, that is good. Let's see the next question. Which seniors are suitable for different helix antennas? Uh, the, the first generation helical antenna, such mm -hmm. as uh, CH6601A, yes. uh, can support most of the application series, but it doesn't support the series which needs the uh, enhanced system mm -hmm. of airband. Yes. The second generation helical antenna d helix mm, is suitable for UAV applications uh, with higher positioning mm -hmm. accuracy, uh, wider working frequency band, and no uh, strict uh, with, and no strict restriction on yes. antenna size because it's a little bigger. Okay. Uh, our newly released helical antennas are designed for lower height and better mm -hmm. performance. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can choose the most suitable product according to your different requirements on antenna size, yes. height, yes. and whether you need to do integrated design. Okay. The application of helical antennas in UAV industry mm -hmm. is only one of its many application scenarios. It can also be used in many other applications where uh, high precision positioning and mm -hmm. small antenna size are required. Okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you for Leo's wonderful answers. Here is the final question. What are the technical requirements of antenna for mapping board? Uh, in my opinion, there are several basic requirements mm -hmm. uh, for the antenna to match the, with the board. First is mm -hmm. matching of the uh, working voltage. The output voltage of the board mm -hmm. must be within the normal working voltage range of the antenna, mm -hmm. so the antenna can work normally. Mm -hmm. uh, second, the gain of the antenna's LNA should match the gain required by the board. Uh, thirdly, is the working frequency band of the antenna mm -hmm. should be matched with the working frequency band of the board. So both the antenna and the board, their performance can be maximized good state. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, Leo. Thank you for your wonderful answers. Thank you. Dear friends, hope today's webinar helps you know better about Hudson Hicks antennas and aviation antennas. So you have any needs uh, or assistance from us, please do not hesitate to contact us. Okay, so now, thank you so much for your joining. Thank you.